Hi, here I am again. Hope you're enjoying the class so far. I am going to share with you right now about why I love doTERRA and why I feel like you would really love them too. When um, I was in that very first class while pregnant and experiencing some of the oils like lemon, lavender, and peppermint, two, two of the oils stood out to me and got my attention. First, peppermint smelled so delicious, hi Casey, and so sweet, I had no idea that peppermint could smell so good because a lot of candies and gums and stuff have artificial peppermint flavor. Yes, I love, I love doTERRA, so I gave some hearts. <laughs> um, so the peppermint, it was just delicious. Like, even though we're not supposed to drink the whole bottle, I really did just want to gulp it down. It smelled so good and sweet. Um, but it wouldn't have tasted like that if I had done that. So don't gulp it down. One drop will do. Um, and the other one was lavender. The second one was lavender because I don't like lavender. The way it smells is not my favorite thing. A lot of people love it, and yay for them, for you, if you love it. Um, I'm glad. <laughs> but um, when I smelled the doTERRA lavender, I, it actually like occurred to me like, oh, okay, wow, I could see how some people like lavender. This one, is it was the best lavender I had smelled. So move forward, moving forward, I, um, I learned why. One reason is why is what Casey touched on um, in her last video when she was talking about the extent of the oils being tested. Um, doTERRA created a certification to, um, to identify the standard of their oils. It's called Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade. And the reason they did this is because the therapeutic grade that the essential oil market is held to is not regulated very closely. And so a lot of variation is permitted with it. And doTERRA wanted to raise the bar significantly. So they created the Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade Standard. And um, their testing does include seven different ways that the oil is tested and um, certified to be pure. And it is third party tested. doTERRA is not in the back of the warehouse doing their own thing and saying it's good. Um, third party testing is done on every liter like Casey was talking about. So that really got my attention. Also because, um, I, like I mentioned before, I had used essential oil, uh, the Melaleuca essential oil growing up, and a lot of the things in the store didn't smell like the one I knew growing up. And I didn't understand why. I just put good faith in it and said, well, it says 100% pure. It says Melaleuca alternifolia on it, so it must be okay. Well, then I learned that... Um, Purity is a big, big deal. And um, to say pure Melaleuca, it only has to have 0.01% in the bottle. And doTERRA's is going to have 100% Melaleuca in the bottle every single time. So that got my attention. The purity and the potency is getting my attention. Another reason I love doTERRA is because of their Healing Hands Foundation. So not only are they... Um, supplying fabulous oils and making being an avenue for fabulous farmers and farms to supply their oils to the world. But the Healing Hands Foundation is a nonprofit um, organization that uh, facilitates um, philanthropy, different kinds in different um, parts of the world. And we do, they do focus on the areas where we have our oil farms. So, well, I say our, uh, the farms that are contracted with doTERRA because they're independently owned by the families and the people of the local area. Lemon is in Italy, grown by Italian lemon farmers. Um, vetiver is from 
hay tea grown by local vetiver farmers. Every one of doTERRA's oils is grown and um, processed in its native soil and region um, area of the world. And I thought that was very powerful because we're empowering people of the, of the world and giving them the business that they need to have a quality life, to have not just a surviving lifestyle or getting by, but to have a quality life. Their, their kids can have clothes and food and go to school. Uh, their communities can have hospitals and schools. Uh, doTERRA ha Healing Hands has um, worked with farmers in different areas to uh, give them um, the um, right facilities, to update their facilities for the essential oil processing, um, to build schools when either the school was destroyed in a storm or they just needed one, to bring clean water to areas that need clean water so that the women and the people in the village can be more productive in the areas other areas they need to in um, in their day instead of spending the whole day hauling water. Um, I know that in Nepal they rebuilt uh, some areas, helped rebuild some areas, and they have made hot, re rebuilt or built hospitals in uh, Guatemala and um, taught the caregivers there doctors and nurses and midwives um, about essential oils and how to use them and, and, and integrate them into the practices there. So I'm loving this about doTERRA. Um, the, um, two more things that I love about doTERRA is um, the business is really easy um, for me to work. By easy, I mean it's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the compensation plan is very straightforward. I've done a lot of different entrepreneurship opportunities, um, specifically network marketing, and I um, didn't feel like the <coughs> pardon me. I didn't feel like the compensation plan was a, was straightforward. I felt like it was hard to get people to sign up and hard to um, you know fall in love with the thing I was in love with. But with oils and with people, it's, it's very duplicatable, and it's a product that we use. You know, I hate it when I get to the bottom of a bottle of oil because then I need more, and if I didn't order it in time, then I have to wait. Imagine that. I have to be patient. But, um, you know, people are going to use it up, and they're going to have a better, a better life because of it, um, and I love that. I love that. I want you to have a better life. I want you to feel good and have energy. So um, those are things why I feel like doTERRA um, surpasses the rest. And um, oh, the other thing, a fourth thing I was going to say, because the founders and the higher ups, the big wigs, <laughs> they, they would just laugh if you called them big wigs because they feel maybe like medium wigs or even on some days, you know, just like you and I, the normal people, the, they're just making the company go just like we are. And they make all the decisions for the company through the perspective and um, consideration of all of us wellness advocates. And I think that that's really humble and I really appreciate it because they don't have to do that. Anyway, those are my reasons for why doTERRA. Uh, ask your questions and comments, all right? Here's Casey. She's going to talk about um, wholesale, kit, wholesale enrollment.